And this is the scary part that I don't like, is that people are just not buying on eBay anymore. Yeah, I said it. What's up my reseller friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina. I thrift to resell on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. I have another come ship with me video today. So let's just go ahead and get started. So if it seems like I'm pretty low on energy today, it is because I've come down with some sort of bug that I got from my daughter. That's the thing that sucks about having kids in school is just all the germs. But the first item I have to ship, we're already getting ready for Thanksgiving, guys. We've got this Turkey Mickey Mouse plush, super cute. Um, how am I gonna ship this guy? Man, I just feel like he's got a little bit of extras on him that just don't make him your standard plush. So I think I'm gonna ship him in a box. I normally ship all my plush inside a poly bag. 8.1, I'm drowning it down to eight. Don't, don't take my advice though, guys. I can get in trouble. I'm a rebel today. Once you pass eight ounces, um, it get it goes on to the next tier. So, anyways, this is going to cost me four dollars and forty four cents to ship. It's going to Florida. Weird thing about this one is I sent out offers on it, and somebody sent me a message. So the offer was for like sixteen dollars and ten cents or something, and then somebody sent me an offer or sent me a message asking me if I would take $15 for it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead go back on to the listing and go ahead and send an offer that way. So then this ended up just selling. So I'm not sure if it's the same person or not. I'm too lazy to go back and look at the username of the person that originally sent that message. But regardless, it sold and it sold for $16.10 free shipping. I believe I bought that at a state sale. Can't remember what I paid for it, but I listed it in February. Okay, so the next item is these Nike pants for men. They're like men's running pants. I'll show you what they look like right here. These sold for $17.99 plus the cost of shipping. I got these at a garage sale for a dollar. And these sold um, just in about a week of being listed. Okay, so this was 8.3 ounces. I don't think I'm gonna be brave this time. We may be cutting it a little bit too far from the eight ounces. Let me do it again. Maybe it'll change this time. Oh, see? Hold on, okay. Come on, come on. Ah, 8.3. All right, fine. It's going to cost me $5.04 to ship. And this is going to Texas. I charge $5 for shipping. I write the buyer's names on all the packages. That way, when I put the labels on, I don't get them mixed up. So the Barbie jacket. This is a replacement jacket for a Barbie from the Y2K era. Or actually, no, 1999. Oh, I guess that's still Y2K. Um... This is going to cost me $4.13 to ship. Next item is another Nike top or another Nike item. This is a top. It's just green stripe. I'll show you what it looks like right here. It's one of the Nike Pro Combat. Every single Nike Pro Combat 
t-shirt that I have bought and has sold. These do great. And this sold only within a couple of days of being listed. I think I got this from the same yard sale where I got the pants and it sold for $15.29. I believe I sent an offer on it. I did charge them shipping of $5. It's going to Illinois. I was corrected by one of the one of the viewers. It's not pronounced Illinois. The S is silent. It's Illinois. Okay, so that one's actually only going to be four ounces, which is going to cost less than I thought. And it's only going to cost me $3.97 to ship. This next item is something I accepted an offer on. Actually, yeah, they, I think I had listed it for like 13 and they sent me an offer for eight and I countered at 10. And it's just um, little people. Like a, it's a boy, a baby, a baby chair, and a little table. Man, with little people items, I struggle with if I want to tell you to pick this stuff up or not. If it's a vintage, absolutely pick it up, especially like the vintage furniture. That's really great. But when it's a little bit more modern looking like this, um, they sell. They absolutely sell they just don't sell for a lot of money so it's just one of those things get them for cheap and maybe for me you guys can give me some insight on this too i know some of you who watch this sell little people stuff but like maybe it's better if i sell them like in bigger lots versus just like smaller lots or individually let me know in the comments if you sell little people like any sort of like advice you have basically so this should only be four ounces yeah which is also less than what i thought originally thought i had put eight ounces in here this is going to cost me three dollars and ninety cents to ship We got another elf on the shelf. I had just sold some of these in one of my uh, recent previous videos. I had sold the boy and the girl. This time it's just the boy. This one sold for $12.79. Free shipping. I'm pretty sure I got this at a yard sale. That's normally where I find my elves on the shelf or at yard sales. Yard sales are really great places to get Christmas stuff. And you definitely should make sure that you're getting all your Christmas items listed, like yesterday. Um, this one's just gonna go in a regular poly bag. I wonder what kind of mischief this little guy is going to get into. I know our off on the shelf likes to get into all kinds of trouble. All right, let's see here. 4.3, we're so close to the four. See, when I moved it around, I changed it to 4.2. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll round it up. Oh, this is actually an international sale. Next is an Obey, the brand Obey top. I'll show you what it looks like right here. It's a women's long sleeve crop top. I've had this listed since June and somebody sent me an offer. I think it was, yeah, it was a $6 offer plus shipping and I took it. It was way lower than I wanted to go, but you know what guys, my sales have just not been doing good, especially when this offer came through. I had not very many sales and I was doing really bad. I actually had my very first no sale on eBay day since I can't even remember. I know it's been at least a year since that's happened, probably even longer. 
not a single sale. So on Halloween, the afternoon of Halloween, I shipped out one order, one. And that was a Macari sale. And then the next day, the day after Halloween, I shipped out three packages and those were all very small, low price item things. It was very, very depressing to say the least. Very scary. Um, I understand that it was Halloween, so a lot of people are out doing things. People aren't real necessarily shopping on eBay, but it's just that's just out of the norm, and I don't like that. That's scary. Last year, I know I did bad on Halloween too as well, but this was like you can't get any worse than that. So I was kind of really in the mood for accepting offers at this point. So this was just one of the ones that came through. When I'm doing the shipping, I'm starting with the most recent thing that most recent order that came through. And as I go down, these are getting into like some of the older sales. So this, this one was one of the, the ones that I was like, okay, cause I truly believe that when every time you get a sale, it's just, I don't know, it just sparks something and it can lead to more sales. So that's why I was really, really feeling like accepting offers because I needed to do something. But anyways, this is going to Texas. It's going to weigh eight ounces and it's gonna cost me $4.24 to ship. I am shipping out of California, by the way. All right, this was another one that I accepted an offer for. I was originally trying to get $10 Free, I mean, $15 free shipping. Someone sent me an offer, I think a low offer, a really low offer on it. And then I counter offer to 10 and then they accepted. I think that's what happened if I'm not mixing it up with something else. But it's just a, um, just do it. Uh, boys, youth, boy size t-shirt, Nike t-shirt. And yeah, $10 free shipping. five ounces it's gonna cost me four dollars and 21 cents to ship okay next is Victoria's Secret mini backpack it's packaged up but I'll show you what it looks like right here I'm just gonna ship this one inside a bubble mailer this is a 10 by 13 bubble mailer. This is one of my favorite things to use. My, um, my shipping supply money that eBay gives me for having a store. I always tape up the corners. They've asked me to do that at the post office, so I do it. They don't want mail and other things to get in between, so that's why. This is going to weigh 6.9 ounces. It's gonna cost me $4.44 to ship. All right, last eBay item. I have a story for you on this one. It's a Spider-Man Lego set. Um, I'm gonna wrap him in cardboard, I'll be right back. So I already told you that I wasn't getting any sales during Halloween time or on the day of Halloween. And that evening before going to sleep, so I went to bed late. I think it was around midnight that I went to bed. I had gotten a message on eBay and I had sold another Spider-Man minifigure that's very similar to this one. And the person who had bought that sent me a, a message. And this was the message that I was reading. And he said, you know, I'm sorry. I know I've had this for a couple weeks already, um, but I'm just noticing that you shipped me the wrong Spider-Man. This is the one that you shipped me. And then he showed me a screenshot of another Spider-Man. Um, 
figurine that I had in my store. He's all, this is the one you shipped me. You didn't ship me the one that I ordered. And I mean, he was like really nice about it. It didn't seem like he was like trying to get anything from me or like, it didn't seem, I, it, it was just like, it, it, I shipped him the wrong thing and he just noticed it. So he messaged me and I was already in pissed off mood because I didn't get any sales that day. I was really scared and stressed out. And I just responded to him. I was really tired and I was just like, I'm so sorry that happened. Go ahead and open and return. And then I sent the message and went to bed. <laughs> but then in the morning when I woke up and I had a clearer mind and I was thinking about it, I was like, I do not want him to open a return. I just got someone to open a return on me last week saying that I shipped them the wrong thing, which I didn't. They ordered the wrong thing, but they selected that I shipped them the wrong thing. And I have a feeling that has something to do with my low sales. But I do not need another one of those. So I'm like, what am I thinking? Like, why did I tell him to do that? So uh, I went and checked if I still had the Spider-Man that he ordered in, like, in my inventory, and I did. So I definitely switched out and sent him the wrong one. So I went and I messaged him, and I told him, okay, I'm giving you a full refund. You can keep that minifigure. There's no need to return it. Um, and I'm going to relist the one that you meant to order and you are definitely welcome to go ahead and repurchase that. But in the meantime, you do have, the, you, I am refunding you. So I refunded him and then he went back and just reordered this one. So I think that was the right thing to do. I'm the one who messed up. And it doesn't matter if it took him a couple of weeks to figure it out. At the end of the day, I'm the one who screwed up. So I feel like I made it right, did the right thing. And then this was like, but also because he bought this order right after I relisted it, like he bought it super fast. And I feel like that had something to do with kind of waking my store up a little bit. So it, it actually ended up working out. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna cost me $3.64 to live. He lives right down the street in Los Angeles. So he'll have this by tomorrow. Oh gosh, guys, but it's just, it's been, it's been tough. This was a good day though. It turned out to be a good day. I have a lot of sales. Um, I do still have more sales too, to ship um, Poshmark. Um, so I'm not complaining about this day, but it's just, it's been tough. And I'm gonna tell you that, you know, I've been selling on eBay for a long time. I know all the tricks and tips for getting uh, getting sales and you know I do all the things that eBay asks me to do and it's just it's just been slow and I think that there's a lot of reasons for it I think that it's partly to do with eBay and all their updates always seem to really mess with us every time they're doing updates. So they can't seem to get that shit together. So there's that. There's the economy that sucks. And I think, and this is the scary part that I don't like, is that People are just not buying on eBay anymore. Yeah, I said it. Amazon's where it is right now. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought about selling on Amazon, but I'd rather go out and get a, like a, a, like a normal job than sell on Amazon. I don't think I wanna do it. I went on Reddit and I was, looking up like why people don't shop on eBay anymore. And there were probably about three popular reasons for it. Number one was Amazon. Everyone says, I trust Amazon more. It gets to me faster, easy returns. I trust, I, I, I feel safer ordering on Amazon. 
another reason. eBay is starting to become saturated with a bunch of cheap stuff from China. And it's hard to like, it, like it, it like floods the market, right? And I totally can agree. I can agree with that. Because like, I'm just giving you an example. When I'm, like you guys all know I'm a huge No Doubt Gwen Stefani fan. Like if I go and I type up No Doubt to like try to find like some cool No Doubt memorabilia on eBay, it's like over half of everything that comes up are these cheap knockoff t-shirts. And it's just like, it floods, it floods the market. And it's like, it's hard to narrow down to find the good stuff that I'm really looking for. And another thing people were saying, and I know that we don't want to hear this, but it's just true, is that there's a lot of shitty sellers on eBay with horrible customer service. And I know that to be completely true. I'm on those fake, those eBay reseller Facebook groups. And some of the things that people say on there and some of the advice that people give, it's like they don't want to have any form of like customer service. No one wants to accept returns. And like people get like angry easy. And it's like, dude, like they want to cut corners on shipping and do that. It leads for a horrible experience. And then people are definitely going to go on Amazon. So it's like, I don't know. I just hope that things get better. And I think that the only thing that I can really do in that regard is just be a better seller myself and do my part on my YouTube channel to help you all to be better sellers. And I think that that's just what I can do to help contribute to trying to make eBay better. Let's just all be great sellers. Let's all treat every single buyer like as if it was our mothers that purchased it. How would we want someone to treat our moms or our dads or you know our friends? Be very kind and compassionate towards people. Don't let people walk all over you, but also just always do the right thing. And if someone's messaging you about an issue that they have, don't just jump to conclusions that they're trying to scam you. I mean, it's possible they are, but not, just don't come, you, you gotta give them the benefit of the doubt and you gotta have great customer service. If you don't accept returns and someone wants to do a return and they're being kind about it, just accept a return and resell it and move on. And you know, like we don't need to get caught up on like all these like little things and you know, let's just make eBay a great place. So that's what I have to say about that. But um, if I'm comparing my numbers to last year, it's not looking good. So that's really, really sad. Okay, so Poshmark. I already printed out my labels and everything. So the first item, I already have it like out on the porch ready to go. It is this a lot of vintage women's Christmas clothing. I ended up bundling it all together and then sold on Poshmark for $25. I was really happy with that sale. Again, Christmas stuff selling. Next item is this Valcom, Val, 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 Valcom women's denim jacket, size extra small. This is what it looks like. Um, I need to get a poly bag for this. I rarely ever use my supplies when shipping Poshmark stuff because I rather use the free USPS supplies. This one sold for how much? $22. And I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I do remember that I got it at a yard sale. I probably, oh, I'm kind of thinking I somewhat paid up for it. It may have been somewhere between three to five dollars. And it took a while for this one to sell. It was at least six months. So there's that. And then I also sold this Beauty and the Beast. Um, it's the live action Beauty and the Beast set of um, dishes, Mrs. Potts. Got this in a yard sale. I actually purchased a huge bin full of 
play dishes and play food. And I bundled them down into smaller little lots. And this is where it came from. I, I didn't spend that much money on it. Like literally, like I've sold so much of it already that I just consider this free at this point. All right, so that's going to be that for Poshmark. Nothing on Macari. And, and then I also sold to one of my viewers. So I want to thank um, Aubrey. Thank you so much. Uh, we did the transaction over Instagram. I've already packaged that and shipped it out. She ordered like five things from my store. So I'm just like so grateful for you for that. So thank you so much. And like I had said, it was, it's been a really tough week for me. So that sale really did help me out a lot. And it also made me just feel good. So thank you so much for that. I hope you enjoy all those things. Anyways, I think that's all I got for you guys today. I am going to run over to the thrift store really quick. I'm not feeling that good. I'm not going to be gone long, but I just want to do a quick look because I am starting to run low on my inventory, like way lower than I like to be. I like to have a good little stack of amount of stuff. And it's like mostly like all clothes that I have right now, pretty much to list. And, um, I don't like to just list clothes. <laughs> I don't think that's good for my store to just be listing clothes all day. So I got to get a couple of like non clothing things. But if this thrift store is having their additional 75% off clothes, I probably am going to end up buying a shit ton of clothes, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful in any way. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video, comment, do all those nice things to really help me out. I'm literally this close to reaching my goal of 3,000. The goal was to be at 3,000 by the end of the year. I'm only 50 subscribers away from that. So I really think I'm going to make this a goal coming up soon. So thank you everyone who has subscribed and has been watching all my videos. I appreciate you more than you know. Never forget, when you thrift upon a star, all your dreams will come true. I'll see you all next time. $130 later, two big bags full of clothes. <sighs> What do I do to myself?